Hey, what's up guys? This is Arun and welcome to my channel of Arun's Creation in which we teach Photoshop, Photography, Lightroom as well as video editing tutorial and uh, graphic designing and logo designing. Okay, so to get this effect, go to file then click on new. I want 1366 width, height 768, resolution 72. Okay, this is my new file. And, uh, okay, now I will put portrait directly on here. Firstly, I want to unlock it. Now choose your move tool and drag the image here. Right click on there, smart object, so that I can maintain the quality of this image. So I'll, that I always use this smart object. Now control T to transform it. And set the position of this portrait. Now I have two images of uh, one is paint splash this and one is this. Now I want to use this paint splash on here. Okay. Now again, right click on there. Go to Smart Object, Control T to transform it and adjust the size. Even I can make it Control T. okay that's fine it is depend on you and the you choose what the size you want for it okay now I want this size now directly make a new file on there and fill it with white I want white now I have this paint splash just click uh, just press control on the keyboard and click on there then you will get a selection here uh, to inverse the selection press control shift i and then you will get inverse the in fact selection and press this mask button there okay okay i want black edges of this portrait so this is my portrait okay i have to make it black uh, so I will do one thing, uh, I will go to level, okay, that's fine, now close it, select this mask of this level, choose your brush, press on there, press on there, even you can reduce it, okay I don't want to reduce the opacity, I will reduce the opacity of this brush Ctrl Z and uh, you can play with the opacity so this is before and this is after just awesome I am getting <coughs> now uh, make a new layer on there uh, I want uh, red color something like this and set its blend mode to screen now see the effect again make a new layer and before that i think uh, i have to maintain the opacity of this brush so again apply a brush on there and set its blending mode to screen something like this i will go out and again make a new layer and uh, this time i want uh, this blue shade okay now i will apply here set its blend mode to screen and even you can reduce the opacity and it's looking awesome okay and now last thing i want to do this yellow shade i want again make a new layer press once on there and set its blend mode to screen and i will try this uh, okay now see this one thing i will to do this is my portrait and directly I will go to filter next software then color effects <clears throat> now this is my detail extractor of uh, this image and I'm using detail extractor so that I can get better result okay that's fine uh, I think this is looking cool if I inactive this yellow 
now I will adjust its position something like uh, now I will do one thing more I will try to make it more bigger size okay I think uh, this is looking cool so last thing I will to do uh, I will merge all layers uh, this is just hit and trial go to camera raw okay I want vignetting and it's looking very nice after applying few adjustments from this camera raw now this is before and this is after just I'm getting cool effect now see this before and after and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and keep in touch with us on Facebook as well as on YouTube and uh, uh, very soon we will be available on Skype thank you friends keep watching on creation